a lot of attorneys like to give you a reason or a story as to why they became an attorney. But in my life, it was more important as to why I became a plaintiff's attorney. When I first started practicing law, I just needed a job, like anyone else, and I got a job with a defense attorney that represented insurance companies. When I started doing that, I was preparing for my very first trial. I came in on a Sunday. I met with my senior partner, and he said, Dave, you nervous? I said, sure, it's my very first trial. Of course I'll be nervous. He said, we were representing a trucking company that had rear-ended somebody and had injured their, their back. And he said to me, Dave, what's the worst that's going to happen tomorrow? And I said, I don't know. Maybe the insurance would give, uh, maybe the jury will give him $50,000. And that was a lot of money in 1980. And he said, you know what, Dave? If we lose this case, do you believe our insurance company will even know we tried it? It's so huge that the adjuster won't know, the senior management know, won't know, no one will know and no one will care and will probably appeal. He said to me, what do you think is going to happen if to the plaintiff? He says, well, he might get more than $50,000. And George said, what if he loses? And I started thinking, he has a family. He has to support himself. He's not working. My senior partner says, who's got more to lose tomorrow, them or us? That was my first taste with insurance companies and how they think. I didn't realize that insurance companies think the same way about their lawyers. I do very good on cases. I would try cases. I would settle cases on favorable terms. And the insurance company, when they got my bill, would say, hey, you shouldn't have spent money for doing this or that, and we're not going to pay you. And oh, by the way, if you complain about it, we'll take all 100 of the cases that we've given you. I represented a, my very first plaintiff in South Carolina. They were injured. They came to me. We didn't have a conflict, even though I was still with the defense firm. And I won her $60,000. And you know what they did? They thanked me. They shook my hand. Every time I went down the street and by their shop, they asked me in for coffee and said, not that they're going to take business away from me, but hey, we'll tell our friends about you, Dave. Three years later, I got a chance to do plaintiff's work. And quite frankly, it's the best decision I ever made. I was passionate for representing the individual who was hurt, the individual who needed the justice, the individual who have to live the rest of their life with the consequences of a trial. I take that seriously in every case that I've ever taken as a plaintiff. I've never represented an insurance company again and never will. And I love what I do representing